It's time for Random Lore Dump with me, Zero Daylight. Hey, everybody. So uh, this is the midpoint of our second session, uh, the final session of our pilot of D&D 5e, uh, the Cursed Caravan. And I have no idea where the characters or the story are going to be at this point. Uh, so I thought instead of trying to kind of give a hint of where things are going uh, or summarizing what might have happened in the past, yeah, I don't know, hour, hour or two, uh, it would be a good idea to maybe give you, the viewers, a sense of some of the stuff that is happening behind the scenes, even if the players don't know. So I'll have to trust them not to watch uh, and not to kind of cheat to try to figure it out. So if you were with us in the very, very beginning, I talked about how what happened uh, at the fall of Verrett was very, very important, and that a lot of the clues that the players were receiving were related to a very specific thing that happened in a very particular place. So, the specific thing ha that happened was this. Um, at about the time of the fall of Verrett and uh, the traveling of the refugees from Verrett into Orland. Uh, Orland was under siege by a nation from across the sea. These were religious zealots. Um, and it wasn't looking good for Orland. The enemy fleet was in a place called Blackwater Reach. Mm -hmm. Hint, right? Right, starting to put some things together. When one night, mysteriously, the entire armada disappeared beneath the waves as if by magic. Or, as the players may or may not find out, as if the rulers of Orland called upon an ancient fey pact, which required um, certain members of the royalty of, of uh, Verret to act in defense of Orland. Well, in fact, they did. Uh, to the extent that it completely got rid of, we think, the enemy fleet. But there was a cost. There was a cost to Orland, and there was definitely a cost to Verrett. A certain very important member of the hierarchy of Verrett was lost in the battle, which filled the remaining citizens with dread and 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 just deep, deep sadness, such that they uh, chose to withdraw from this part of the world uh, and, and effectively call their uh, ancient allegiance with the human lands quits. Go somewhere else where, where there was less complicated uh, political interactions and certainly no more obligation to sacrifice their own for the protection of the human people. So... Um, Exactly how that ties into the stone, uh, exactly who it is that might be looking to get what belongs to them back, I won't reveal. But suffice it to say that the destruction of the enemy fleet, the loss of this member of Varat royalty uh, in the Battle of Blackwater Reach, um, and the fact that there appears to be some sort of fey intelligence that is guiding uh, the sort of interventions and the, and the pursuit of our players, you might start to kind of conjecture that maybe there are some lingering after effects and maybe there are some people or maybe a person who hasn't been heard from for a while, possibly assumed to have been lost, maybe isn't quite down and out for the count and might be looking to come back, might be looking to recover a, uh, a token or an element of their power so they can finally return to the mortal world and I'm sure just make friends with everyone and go back to everything being completely normal. I'm sure that they have no resentment whatsoever for being forgotten for 150 years beneath the waves of the Blackwater Reach. I'm sure that they, I'm sure that their ire and their, lu their lust for vengeance hasn't manifested itself in any way that our characters would have noticed. So things are, in the background, potentially going to get real dangerous and problematic. And whether our characters know it or not, 
the decisions they make, how they choose to proceed, is going to shape the direction of at least this continent. Um, And again, ignorant or not, their choices are going to carry uh, personal ramifications um, throughout the rest of their careers as adventurers and investigators. Uh, And if, uh, based on your feedback, we are lucky enough to continue telling this story from time to time, uh, I very much look forward to seeing how that plays out um, and which allegiances they choose to pursue and how that translates into earth-shattering ramifications for them and everything that they care about. So um, I know I seem like a soft GM. I really do like it when the players uh, succeed. Uh, I don't think it's fun for characters to be frustrated or to fail on things uh, that advance the story. I also like to be soft because what's happening in the background is really terrifying, uh, and it's easier to lull them into a false sense of security uh, than it is to uh, overcome their paranoia if I'm always like going at them hard. So we'll see. We'll see how my little plot plays out. Uh, But either way, it'll be fun and hopefully interesting, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again sometime in the future. Thanks.